I all. How? Uh, Sergeant Major, you have command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want. I want to see. That's what I thought was the correct way, and that's what I would like to implement. Oh. oh. Yeah. Hi, uh, Randy. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Did am I not the only one? Looks like everybody else is here. <laughs> I, I apparently lost connection to the server, but okay. anyway. All right, uh, gentlemen. Uh, you know, concepts can be discussed later. We can figure that out. For now, we're just going to cover basic breaching, moving as a unit, uh, communicating, clearing rooms. Well, yeah, I just want to do it the right way the first time. Because I know we've done it multiple different ways. Well, we're not focusing village here. We're focusing individual houses, I believe. <coughs> and first man set. Second man set. Third man set. Last man set. Fine. Clear. Breaching. Clear. Squad stack up. Clear. Oh shit. I'm sorry, I dropped my controller. That's my bad. I'm so sorry. You're good. <laughs> so gentlemen, because this is a multi-story building, there's a stairwell. Uh, with the dynamicness of it in mind, as we come in here, the guys that go left, first guy should bypass the stairs and continue clearing. Second, or sorry, not the second guy, but the last man in the stack should be watching these stairs and kind of covering the six. It's it's a weird position. It's kind of hard to do because it's a 90 degree angle, but we want to make sure in this situation, stairs are covered, doors are covered. Last man would normally purely watch the six, but uh, this is going to be kind of a weird environment. Squad will be breaching. First man set. Second man set. Good man ready. Man set. I'm sorry. What was what that? Oh, fourth man said. Last, Last man. Alright. Pine? Oh, I thought there was someone behind me. Last man said. Clear. Breaching. Corman. Get him up. You want Reaper up too? No. Yeah. No. Clear? Clear. Good shit. Alright, so the point of that is uh, don't just pick your guy up right off the bat. Address the threat first. Don't get two people shot when only one's down. Uh, you want to make sure you kill the guy. If you can't get your buddy up, that fucking sucks, but it does happen occasionally. Make sure you address the threat, continue clearing. Somebody should pick him up. Uh, usually with our Corman training, we'd like to hear Corman. And somebody call out, got it. Um, and then as I was the last guy at that point when I got picked up, I flipped around and started watching the door while they continued clearing. So keeping in mind that everything's going to be super dynamic, shit's going to change, people will step different ways. Um, you want to just make sure you're going off your guys. That's why training is important. You kind of get the feel for it and get to know how other guys in the squad will act when they do it. Everybody understand? Any concerns or questions or anything? I'd just like to add something. Yep. What's up? Okay, um, why are you being a dick? Baskin? Yeah. You're being a dick. All right, um, <clears throat> usually in your squad there's a machine gunner. Unless the squad or the op says there's no machine gunner, your machine gunner will always be your last man. And he'll be the guy watching the six as everybody else is breaching because if enemies start flooding outside of the building, he has the best chance of holding them all off because he has a larger ammo capacity. And that his hundred rounds will give the rest of his squad enough time to breach 
finish clearing the building, and then move to engaging the targets outside, if it comes down to it, if the last man can't cover it. But machine gun doesn't do the primary part of the breaching. He just sits in the back and watches the six. So he'll always be the last man if you have one. Other than that, it's generally the person who sucks the most. All right, first man set. Third man set. Last man set. Okay, breaching. Oops. What the fuck? Throw a grenade. Sorry. <laughs> Did I mean to push that? Right side clear. Mm-hmm. Can I say one thing? So I noticed this most with uh, Basking, but I'm not. I did see someone else, I forgot who. When you're breaching, obviously go opposite direction of the guy in front of you, but pretend like your hip is glued to the wall. Um, Basking, he was kind of walking pretty far out in the middle. Um, if you're walking out in the middle, you can get shot from any direction. If you're on the wall, you can only get shot from, obviously, not the wall. So just stay right next to the wall and watch the rest of the room as you're breaching. And that's basically it. And that helps with friendly fire as well. Yeah. Because you're in the middle of the room and you're between one of your guys and a contact. Do they wait for the contact to shoot you and possibly them, or do they just kill you to kill them? They're probably just going to kill you to kill them. One thing I would like to point out to everybody, uh, Havoc, if I could have you come over to me. Uh, I'm jumping over here. All right. Everybody else, come over this direction and stand around this crater here. Alright, so this is a good example of a doorway that we could ye either go left or right, kind of. It's kind of the same as the last one, but imagine this room extends kind of beyond this. When we're breaching, when we're stacked up, Havoc's behind me, and I walk in, I'm I'm going to J-hook personally. That's what I like to do. I could go forward as well. It It varies. But as soon as I come through this door, I want Havoc right fucking behind me so he can J-hook the other way and look mm. to the right. That way, if there's somebody over there, he's not going to shoot me in the back. Havoc can engage him at the same time as I'm clearing this side. These buildings are a little funky. They seem to be kind of one-sided, so you'll have to use your imagination there. But you get what I'm saying. We want to breach that door at the same fucking time. That way, both sides are covered. Got it. Oh wait, one question for the first man when he when he peeks around the corner. It's called pine. Pine. Okay. All right, that's all. Pine. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. Uh, so if I'm at this corner, I'm just barely peeking, aiming down my sights. I've got a slice of the pie here. Uh, I don't want to get super fucking close to this door because as I come around it, you know, I'm exposing myself more than what I can see. I want to take a step away from it, and I'm slicing the pie, aiming real close to the edge of the doorway as I come around. That way, as soon as I see something, I can just pop him. Mm -hmm. You slice the pie all the way around, you know, kind of... It's the OODA loop. You, uh, what is it? Orient, observe, determine course of action, and then act. Um, you fucking, you look what you, at what you got, keep going, if you need to stop and, you know, glance at something, figure it out for a second, you're not totally exposed, then you can keep going, keep slicing that pie, then I know it's clear. Uh, at this point, generally, I won't step back to Havoc's side, uh, that's kind of exposing myself needlessly again. He's got that right corner now, I've got this left corner, so mm -hmm. when we breach, I can J-hook and he can J-hook. So I'll call, alright, breaching, and we both fucking go. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for explaining that. Um, you wanna, uh, Terry, you wanna explain 